We're now in the design mode of web design, and the concept is called Principles of Layout and Design. This should be easy to remember. The C is for contrast. The R is for repetition. The A is for alignment. And the P is for proximity. You can see what the four letters sound like when you pronounce them. And again, when you research this using Google or whatever, you'll see that this is a pretty common way to teach layout and design because it's easy to remember. So let's study what these four components are because every good web page has this for their layout and design. Here is our initial website. It's a conference held back in 2001, and there's a little table of contents, and it's by Jan and Justino with a couple of computers in the corner. Let's start to modify this using the four principles that we looked at earlier. Notice what's happened. In the first screen, we ha now only have one computer, but we also took the conference 2001 and moved it up closer to the title. That's our proximity. We want everything that's alike being close together. The next modification we made is we enhanced using boldface or H1 font to take the title and make sure that that component stands out. We then want to take a look at contrast and we want to add some black and white here to draw the eye from side to side. It may not be apparent while we did this until this next screen. Notice how we now took the table of contents and we moved them from a single page over to the left hand side and we now have a left navigation system. In the next slide take a look at what we did again with the highlight title of the conference so that the eyes are drawn to there and it stands out. In the next screen focus on the left navigation. Notice that everything is centered and also notice that the authors are all lumped together along with the table of contents. Notice now that we have right justification and we've taken separated this entity down to the bottom. Not only did we draw this to the right, but we drew our title over to the left so we have a balance right in this region. Our next step was to take and move the computer over. Notice on this image that if you follow right down this line that is approximately level with the left side of the image and as you follow the bottom of the image it's approximately level with the bottom. So again we have some alignment and then we also have some proximity based upon this black and white line. So again on the principles of layout and design you have contrast which in our case was bold and, and uh, black and white. We also have repetition to where all of the hyperlinks would be colored blue and, cons and all of the titles would be in the same font size. We also have alignment which would take the whole site and align it to the left or align things towards the center but you're going to be consistent throughout the site. And you have proximity and that's where we took the title and put its information by itself. We took the images we took the table of contents and they are located in their area and we took the authors and moved them down towards the bottom. That is the concept of the principles of layout and design and we will be applying that in future web pages.